Hey, what's going on, everybody? Real quick, going to expand on this bond cycle situation. Um, it's starting to look more and more uh, like that's what's happening. Now, a lot of you had questions about, did I see any bonds that were acting the same way prior to the one that we found um, that expires on August 24th? Well, let's take a look. So basically, the bonds in question, we already know the one that matured on 824 and the one that's maturing tomorrow. Uh, we found those on the securities lending section of the Fed Reserve's website. Um, very easy to find. That's how we found these. Now, this is the one maturing tomorrow. Um, the issue date was, you know, around uh, 629, 630, around that time frame. Now, if we take the QCIP number, and it could be either one of these, um, I, I just went ahead and took the uh, 912796K32 QCIP number. And basically, we plug that in to Google. Or I'm sorry, not to Google. We, we plug that into the historical search in the securities lending operations, and we find it. But further, if you take it, the QCIP number, either one of these, and you plug it into Google, right? That's how you can find out a little bit more on it. So you take the 91K or 912796K32 announcement, type that in Google. It'll bring up this right here. It's like the, the third or fourth search, Treasury Direct. That's where you want to look. Now that's where the specific QCIP shows up brings you here. That's what the page looks like. It has a long list of bonds and bills that you can use the QCIP number to search for. So we type in the QCIP, hit control F. And what do you know? There's three. So what's the third one? Well, the first two were found on the website of the New York Fed with the maturities of 824 and 1012 found in the share lending data, which I find interesting. Then if you add in the third one, you can see that all three have the same QCIP number, despite them all expiring on the same day. They were reissued bonds. So now that we know this, we look at the dates again, right? Look at the middle one. When was the announcement date? 622. He tweeted this 623 right before the auction date. Then we look at this one. It was sent April 20th on the day of the announcement date, but still before the auction date, which is 421. Lastly, we have the PG-13 that was uh, tweeted out July 19th before the announcement date and the auction date. All three have one thing in common. They're all three before the auction dates of these bonds. Is this a coincidence? Don't know. Stay tuned though, because I'm still digging. The day of reckoning will come.